It's our favorite part of the show where we get a chance to talk to Steve Steiger, our historian. Steve, normally we talk about people, and this time we're going to talk about the building. So where are we now? Well, we're in the courtyard of the Palo Alto Art Center at the corner of Embarcadero and Newell Road. And the Art Center used to be called the Cultural Center, and before that it was? The Palo Alto City Hall. And tell us something about how it came to be the City Hall. I understand there's quite a story. Well, in the early 50s, Palo Alto was really beginning to grow, and city services were growing as well. And Jerry Keithley, who was the first city manager, decided that this current city hall at that time on Ramona was too small and needed a bigger building to house all the city services. So he went to the voters to ask to get the funding to build this building on city land. Uh, the voters turned him down, but he managed to finance the building through uh, current city budgets at that time and built this city hall. Now, at that time then, so city, this was in the 50s, so City Hall was here where the Art Center now is. Where were police and fire, and how did those operations work? Well, the police and fire were at the current senior center over at 450 Bryant, mm -hmm. and the rec department was where they currently are at Lucy Stern, but most of the other city departments operated out of this building, and until the new City Hall was opened in the early 70s down in downtown. Okay, so new City Hall in the 70s downtown, and it's been there ever since, I take it? Yes, and then at, certainly thereafter, this building was evaluated and the decision was made to make it a cultural center, which is what they called it for the first 20 years or so of its existence. Recently, it was renamed the Art Center to more reflect the uses that it's being used for now. Well, now that you mention the uses, what are those uses and what would residents like to know about the Art Center? Well, one of the things is they have an art gallery here with the changing exhibits, plus there's a studio space for pottery and other uh, art forms of that nature. So residents, you're certainly all invited to come down to the Art Center and check the website on the screen.